Hi everyone, I'm back this week to talk more about collage. We're going to look at four collage artists who go in depth with their pieces. So I brought a slideshow to share with you. Romare Bearden was an African American collage artist who worked in New York City in Harlem up until his death in 1988. He was born in North Carolina, and he was part of the Great Migration that we talked about last week with Jacob Lawrence, and his family moved north to New York City to access better jobs and better education and to have more freedom and more rights. And he actually even had a studio in the same building as Jacob Lawrence, so they knew each other. So Romare Bearden liked to chronicle his life around Harlem and tell stories about what was happening in his environment and with the community. And this one is called The Block. This is made up of six panels and it's 18 feet long. And each one shows a scene from the block where he was in Harlem. And you can see the stores, the church, the barber shop. Here's a detail and you can see people hanging out, talking and playing music on the street, kids playing on the sidewalk. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see he's depicted a homeless person sleeping there. This was done in 1971. So I don't know that much has changed in some aspects. And you can see the inside of the apartment buildings, as well as the outside all at the same time. So they're like cutouts. You can see what people are doing inside their apartments. They're sitting maybe watching TV, sleeping. So she told you stories about what life was like in Harlem during the 70s. This piece is by Equa Holmes. She's a black artist working now. She lives in Boston. And the pieces I brought are part of something called There's No Place Like Home. It's a series she did that talks about her childhood memories growing up in Boston and what families and relationship meant to her. So what do you see here? Maybe a dad and a son or neighborhood friends sitting outside, maybe at a bus stop. It looks like a bus sign there. You can see things cut out from magazines. There's a bird, like a parrot up here in the upper left, and there's newspaper articles on the bottom. It's fun to look at the details, like what has the artist chosen to include? What does the headline in the newspaper say? Sometimes it's really important. Sometimes it's chosen for the pattern, but a lot of times what it says has meaning in the painting. There's an M&M's wrapper here a piece from a letter, maybe from someone important in her family. And you can see she's added paint and color over her collages. So you have more depth and you don't always have to work with the color something is. You can paint or color over it. This one is called a matter of time. So maybe they are waiting for the bus. This one is called All Weather Friends. And it's also part of the There's No Place Like Home series. And here she's depicted two older ladies. Looks like they've been friends forever, right? And you can see she's got hands and facial features cut out from magazines, different textures and patterns from magazines. There's photographs deep in the purpley black area of the coat. You can see pictures of people. Maybe they're people that these ladies know. Maybe they're their grandchildren or sisters or brothers. You can see the city building up behind them and pieces of the newspaper in the umbrella. But she's added, added colors too there. This is by John Quick to See Smith. She's a Native American artist who's working now and she is part of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Nation. And she likes to work and tell us about issues that are important to her. So here she's included a map of the United States and she's cut out names of all the different tribes and the locations where they are 
can you recognize any of them? Have you learned about any of them or know anyone? I recognize the Lenny Lenape in New Jersey. I learned about them when I was in school and we visited different historical sites in the state. But there's a lot of names on here that I don't recognize. So she thinks it's important that we need to learn more about this culture and history. And you can see here, she's also added paint on top of her collage. She's painted and then collaged and then added more paint. So it really makes, it brings it all together nicely. Here's a piece she did called Trade, Gifts for Trading Land with White People. She said, if this painting could talk, it would say, why don't you consider trading the land we handed over to you for these silly trinkets that so honor us? Sound like a bad deal? Well, that's the deal you gave us. So she's trying to teach people about the history of the Native American lands here in the United States and how they were taken by the government and then images of Native American culture were appropriated for use as things like mascots for sports teams. And if you pay attention to the news, you realize a lot of team names have been changing. And things like the Redskins and Chiefs that she's included up in the top here, Red Man, phrases like that are offensive to Native Americans. So there's been a growing movement to change those things into different names, things that are not offensive to a culture. And if you look closely here, you can see she's included a lot of different images from newspapers and magazines in the painting that speak to her culture and also how it's been represented in the newspapers, sometimes not very nicely. So she's telling us a lot about this, how she feels about it, what she's, she's educating us through her paintings and through collage. You can see here too how she's used so much paint and color to bring it all together. In the canoe front and center is painted on there, which is a symbol of the trade between Native Americans and white people and a traditional transportation during that time. This is a Kenyan American artist, Wageshi Motu, and she's working now. She lives in New York. She grew up in Kenya and she likes to address things about personal identity and gender and race through her collages. And she's another artist that mixes paint and inks and spray paint with the cutouts. You can see here she's cut out eyes and skin and lips and ears from magazines and they're all different races. It's not just one face. She's mixed the features from many different races here and then added paint. There's cut out flowers and a lizard here. She really makes these fantastical images that make you think. And the lizard is mounted on somebody's body. What do you think she wants you to think about when you look at this? Here's another one by Wageshi Motu, and this is called I Put a Spell on You. And you can see how she's mixed all different kinds. We've got some like bird legs at the bottom, lots of different facial features. I think I see a motorcycle in there. The longer you look, the more things you see that she has used to make up these fantastical creatures that are, they're telling you a story and also talking about different issues that are important to her. So we looked at four collage artists that are working really hard to tell you a story or to make you think about issues that are important to them to educate you. And what's interesting is they've taken collage, which we started doing last week, but they've added new elements. They've added paint or crayon, anything. They've added color to bring it all together into a picture. So what I want you to do this week is think about some of the themes we've talked about. Think about the block by Romare Bearden. Would you like to depict your block here during this time? What's going on outside? What can we learn about your community if you made a piece like that? Or maybe there's no place like home. What do you want to tell us about your family or feelings about that? Or if there's a special issue that you want us to learn about, we've done some work about climate change. There's all kinds of things, anything that's important to you. I want you to make 
a collage this week using magazine and newspaper, scrap paper, and anything you have around. And add color. Add some paint or some crayon or marker, colored pencil, anything you have. Regular pencil. Add some stuff on top to bring it all together. Make it one piece that tells us something. And I'm going to work on an example here and share it with you in a minute. I started out with my collage from last week. I decided it wasn't quite done, but you can start a new one. If you remember, I had added newspaper clippings from an article on healthy eating. So then I added some healthy food choices and some unhealthy food choices. And I was thinking about the choices we have to make each day when we make dinner or when we decide what to eat. So I added some more quotes from the newspaper article, things that made you think about the subject. And I added some markers and crayon and colored it all in and made it all into one collage. Now remember to think about what you're adding and why. Does the text relate to the message you're trying to convey or the scene that you're showing? And another good thing is if you want to keep it all together and make it shiny in the end, you can get a little bit of glue and a paintbrush and give it a good coat on top and it'll all sort of stick together and dry a little bit shiny. I hope you had fun making your collages and I can't wait to see what you made.